Hi, everybody. Okay, so I I see myself right now. I'm really sorry that I look like this. I just literally got done running. Like while I was running, I was like, "Oh my gosh, God put some crazy stuff on my heart," and I was like, "I gotta do a video." So I literally sprinted to come do this because I was so excited to tell y'all what God's been putting on my heart. Um, so tonight at SCA, we um, have been going over like Hebrews 11 type stuff, and that's just like by faith, um, different characters of the Bible that have done stuff um, just by faith, just something that the Lord has told them to do that they did by faith. So like Abraham left, um, left where he um, was and went somewhere that he wasn't like familiar with and just took a leap of faith. Um, Noah built the ark, like God told him to build this ark, like crazy big, like three football fields long, whatever. And uh, so by faith, Noah did, uh, went against everybody else, um, what they said that he needed to do. And he built this crazy big ark. Um, and then let's see, Enoch like ascended into heaven, didn't even die. Um, Cain presented a sacrifice better than Abel. Sarah had a kid at 90. Um, what else? Anyways, so my point is that there was a lot of stuff um, that has happened throughout the Bible that you're like, okay, well, that was Bible times. Like, that stuff doesn't happen anymore. Um, like, their faith was so strong um, that God, like, told them to do all this kind of stuff, whatever. So, um, what God, like, really put on my heart and what we are talking about at FCA um, is how we, is there something like in your life that uh, you compare yourself to or somebody, some idea, something. Um, so like Kevin, our FCA leader, he was talking about like how um, some people want to be like another person. So they might have like a, a lot of success in life and you want to be like them or maybe like you want to look like somebody or um, you have this idea of how um, you want to be and you feel like you're failing, like all this kind of stuff, or there's no way I'm like them in the Bible. Okay, so think about it like this, like everybody, every story in the Bible is different. Like everybody had a different story. You don't hear like a whole bunch of Noah's building an ark. You don't hear, hear like Noah built an ark. Oh, and then Abraham built an ark, and then Sarah built an ark. Like, you don't hear that. You hear everybody has a different story. Okay, so my point is um, we can't compare, like, our lives to other people. God gave us all a unique gift. Like, all, um, we are all created separately, all created for a different purpose. And so um, it's, like, it's like this. Okay, God made snowflakes, so every single snowflake is different. Like, everyone looks the same. Not, not, um, there's no snowflake that is, like, shaped the exact same. They're all different, and that's how we are, and that's how we need to be. Like, you don't need to be, um, so, like, for girls, you don't need to be trying to look like this model that is on these billboards because, A, she probably doesn't even look like that in real life because of all this Photoshop stuff. And then two, I know that there are girls that just, I mean, they have this image of what you think you need to look like, but think of it like this, like, why would you want a whole bunch of people looking the exact same? You know what I mean? Like, nobody wants to do that. And, the, and the, that's not fun. Like, uniqueness and creativeness and different stuff is awesome. And like, it needs to be, um, like we need to see more of it. There's too many people that trying to be like somebody else and not being who God created them to be. Okay, so this is what blew my mind though. Like that's not even anything. And first of all, sorry, I probably should have vlogged about this because I'm really bad at explaining things because I have like all these thoughts jumbling in my mind and I'm trying to like spit them out and I can't ever get um, like what I really want across like, like I need to. So sorry if I already lost all y'all. Um, that probably happened. But um, anyways, okay, so stick with me here okay first corinthians 12 starting in verse 4 4 through 11 it talks about how um god has given each one of us a gift a different gift so um but the same spirit which is so awesome because that's so how we are like he's given us all these different gifts but we all have the same spirit we all have the holy spirit okay so um he says like 
uh, there's different kind of gifts, the same spirit. There's different kinds of service, but the same Lord. Um, there are different kinds of working, but the same God works in all of them. Um, so then he talks about like how the, each kind of like spiritual gifts that he gives people. So like some people, um, to one there's given through the spirit the message of wisdom, to another the message of knowledge, um, to another faith by the spirit, to another gifts of healing, um, to another miraculous powers, to another prophecy, um, to another speaking in tongues, to another interpretation of tongues. Um, all of these, and in verse 11, this is so awesome. All of these are the work of one and the same spirit, and he gives them to each one just as he wants. So like, he's given us these gifts just as he, wa he wants. Okay, so that was like really cool and everything. But this next like little section in 1 Corinthians is like what really blew my mind. Okay, so it says one body, many parts. Okay, so stay with me here. The body is a unit, though it's made up of, diff of many different parts. Okay, so like obviously you have your head, you have your arms, you have your fingers, you have your legs, your toes, all this kind of stuff. So your body is one body, but it makes up all these different parts. Okay, um, so it is with Christ. We're all baptized by one spirit into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slave or free, and we're all given the one spirit to drink. Now the body is not made up of one part, but of many. If the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I don't belong to the body, it would not for that reason cease to be a part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I'm not an eye, I don't belong to the body, it would, it would not for that reason cease to be a part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has arranged the parts in the body, every single one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but there's one body. Okay, so like how many times have I probably read over that in the Bible? Like seriously, and that's so true and like, day-to-day -day life I mean we all are trying to be something that we're not and um, so I just like I don't know that just blew my mind okay so um, they asked us like what was something that we struggle with and stuff and um, for me I don't know like I I've been freed from a lot of things but for me like growing up it was always like, okay, Jackson and Jordan's sister, or I, I that's like how I was um, known or whatever. And then, then it was like, I don't know, I know this is stupid, but my mom's like tiny, so I was like, okay, I gotta be as small as my mom. Like all this kind of stuff. And that's not true, like God has made me, me, and he's made you, you. So unique, so different from anybody else, and that's awesome, like there's nothing wrong with that at all you got to embrace that and and uh, something that like really convicted me tonight is that whenever you compare yourself to somebody else or you're trying to like yeah be somebody else or be something that you're not that's a sin and like I didn't get that until tonight but that's idolatry like that's a sin I don't know how else to explain it but um, in 2nd Corinthians 10 12 it says, do not dare classify or compare yourself with someone else. Um, for those who compare are not wise. Okay, so no more of this. I have to win this award to, to be this awesome. Or I have to look like her or else nobody will like me. Or I have to, whatever it is, I have to leave a legacy. Um, I don't know. I don't know what y'all are struggling with but I just want to encourage y'all tonight to just be free from that be free to be you be free to be who God created you to be and ask him ask him to reveal um reveal like his purpose for your life ask him to um reveal things about the way that you are made the way that you were designed because we're all different don't pray to be like somebody else pray to be how God created you to be because that's so awesome and um, so yeah, I know that I probably didn't explain all that very well, and I'm sorry, but um, 
anyways, I know this may sound weird, but I want to pray over y'all um, before I get off. So, anyways, I'm going to like reach out my hand like I'm touching y'all. Okay. Um, God, I just want to thank you so much for whoever is listening to this video. Um, I know this is like not planned whatsoever, and uh, I just pray that you spoke through me and that it wasn't my words, but it was your words, Lord. Um, I pray for each heart that um, is listening to this, Lord, that you will just tug on their hearts and that you will um, remove from them anything that's not of you, Lord. If they're chasing worldly pleasures or if they are comparing themselves to somebody else, Lord, I just pray that you will um, reveal more of a revelation of who you are and that you will reveal to them what um, they might be struggling with that they don't even know. And um, so, God, I just pray that, that your presence will be known and that we can be who you designed us to be. We love you so much. Amen.